What's up guys, Chinzo here, and today is a rainy, muggy day in April, and with even more rain in the forecast, mountain biking is definitely out of the question. But instead of letting myself get bummed about it, I found a way to use old bike parts and some spray paint to make a pretty sick piece of artwork. So I'll show you how I did it. But first, I want to mention that I'm using this piece for a new project that I'm calling the Mountain Biker Man Cave. So if you want to keep up with that project and other adventures, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the notifications bell. So to get started on this piece, you'll need a pencil, an eraser, some poster board, a ruler or straight edge, and an X-Acto blade. I'll be using a homemade stencil for this one, so I used a canvas to size it up. Then I started sketching out my design. Once that was done, I used an X-Acto knife to cut out my stencil. Then it was finally time for the fun part. I covered the canvas with lime green spray paint to start, then splashed in some darker green. Next I used an old chain ring and cassette to spray in some silhouettes. I worked back and forth between light and dark green without much of a game plan. I just tried to develop layers, maintain balance, and overall just have fun. Once I was happy with the background, I let it dry then carefully laid the stencil down and used some paperweights to hold it in place. I sprayed a coat of white and allowed it to dry then followed it up with a coat of sea foam and a little bit of sky blue. Then I did some touch ups and let it dry for a little while. Next, I started on the line work using Uniposca acrylic paint markers. I used purple for the 3D effect, white for the highlights, and orange for the outline. And I painted multiple layers to get the best color saturation. And this is how it turned out. If you're into art and DIY videos, I'll drop a link to my art channel down below in the description box. 
so feel free to check that out. I'll also post some bike related art on this channel from time to time, so be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, stay stoked, and I'll see you in the next one.